friends welcome to the class of design and analysis of algorithm so coming to the next problem that is traveling sales persons problem so we'll see what is this problem let us suppose if i am at vertex 1 i need to start from vertex 1 i need to visit the remaining vertices exactly once and finally i have to come to my source vertex so this path we need to find and we need to find what is this shortest path that means in what way if i start from one and in which vertex i need to visit next and which vertex i need to visit after that like this so that the total tour so why i am calling it as a tour means i am starting at the vertex one I, and at the end i am reaching at one so i am visiting each vertex exactly once and finally i am reaching to one so i need to find this path with minimum cost now the question is from starting from one which vertex next i need to visit that is required so in order to visit the next vertex after that the next vertex and each vertex i need to visit exactly once of course except the source vertex because you are starting at source vertex and you are ending at the same vertex so now we need to find this this is we call it as traveling sales persons problem so here it is given for example let us suppose i am starting at one city i need to visit the remaining cities exactly once and i need to come to the original position so in this tour it is given here in terms of adjacency matrix like what is the distance uh, cost like 1 to 1 it is 0 1 to 2 that is 10 there is a cost of 1 to 2 and 1 to 4 anyway it is a directed matrix that's why directed graph so 2 to 1 that is 5 like this it is given of course there are four vertices no so 1 2 3 here you can write 1 2 3 4 now we'll see what is this it's a graph with v comma e vertices and edges and v denotes the set of vertices and e denotes the edges and whatever the values we have which you we call it as cost and definitely of course the cost we'll call it as maybe distance or time taken so it is definitely greater than 0 and if there is no edge exists so we call it as infinity if there is no let us suppose if there is no path from 2 to 3 we call we'll make here as infinity but here no infinity is there that's why uh, for every vertex to the another vertex there exists a path in our example so here the traveling sales persons problem is to find a minimum cost of tour of course it is a directed cycle that includes every vertex in v the cost how we calculate is that in the tour is it's a sum of the all costs and edges on the tour of course we need to find the what is that shortest path that starts and ends inside the same vertex so what is the procedure how we need to go here is of course we are taking a cost function that is c of 1 comma remaining vertices we are taking except source and that is and the total length of the tour i need it needs to terminate at one and uh, d of ij which is the cost of two vertices anyway we will see that uh, in our example explanation so v1 to v2 up to vn is a sequence of vertices followed in the tour see here starting from vertex 1 let us suppose if i get that i need to visit 3 that v2 will become 3 next v3 means the next vertex which i has to visit like this this is optimal tour path and again ends at v1 that is what here it is given and of course each vertex has to visit exactly once and here also we'll go for principle of optimality of course we here we are solving this problem by using dynamic programming that's why principle of optimality is required this is a formula we need to use and based on this formula we need to calculate and we need to find the optimal tour so we'll directly go to the explanation of the problem now if i take this and anyway, i'm writing here the adjacency matrix with vertex values this is our formula that is cost of i comma s where you need to find minimum of d of i comma j that is cost of j comma s minus j and remember this point j whatever what is i and j here i does not belongs to s s is nothing but one set is this set contains elements which are vertices of course except the source vertex now here j belongs to whatever the elements you have taken what are the vertices you have taken in s like this we need to consider we'll solve this like initially we need to take s as empty set of course initially s as empty set next level you need to go for s equals to 
वन ए वन वर्टेक्स एट ए टाइम एंड नेक्स्ट टू वर्टिसेस एट ए टाइम लाइक दिस वी नीड टू कंसिडर सो इनिशियली एम टी सेट इफ ऐ सब्सिट्यूट इन दिस फार्मुला वॉट इज एस मीन पाइ दिस विल बिकम कास्ट ऑफ ई कामा पाइ सो लाइक दिस वी नीड टू कंसिडर सो वील सी दैट वन सो फर्स्ट इफ ऐ सब्सिट्यूट आई टेक द वर्टिसेस 